I go, God is present. Push your neighbor and say, no hiding place. Oh God, I feel like preaching. I know some of you can't shout because I'm on your feet right now. But, but Job realized uh, that nothing could happen to him except God permitted it to be so. I need to tell somebody in here, no matter what you're going through, God is permitting it to be so in your life. Uh, because God says, uh, if I can trust you with a car, if I can trust you with a house, uh, if I can trust you to have fine clothes, if I can trust you with jewelry, if I can trust you with a bank account, if I can trust you with prosperity, if I can trust you with a business, I ought to be able to trust you with a problem. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Y'all don't want me to preach today. But I'm going to preach anyhow. So he realized that, that, that God had to permit Satan uh, to attack him. He, he realized that, he, that God had to permit it. But this is the thing that really blessed me. He all, not only realized that, he knew that God was in total control of his life. Uh, and if he continued to live right before God, that it was going to work out for his good. Uh, see, see, some of us, ah, uh, 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 yes, God, uh, we get apprehended uh, in the time of trouble. But you got to keep on living right. Uh, you cannot change the way you live. See, we come to church on a regular basis when me and Boo is getting along real good. When all of my children are intact. Uh, when money is in my pocket. When my bills are paid. Uh, nobody is more faithful than me. But the minute we go through trouble, we want to pack up and give up on God and question God. But God said, I'm looking for somebody who will trust me even though it seems like uh, I'm killing them. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Even though stuff is dying in your life, you're losing jobs, losing this, losing that, this going on, that going on, but God, I will still trust you. Come on. What do you say, Come on. What a saint said who can go through something. Come on, man. What a saint said that do, do not lose that level of praise because they're dealing with issues. Y'all don't want me to preach now. I can tell in the attendance. I can tell in the giving. When you start going through something, you're like a crawfish. You back up. But God said, I'm looking for somebody to press their way, even though you're under pressure, even though this going on and that going on, even though your money funny and your change strange. Even though you don't sit down. Now let me tell you something. I got a lot of respect for folk who come to church when they've been shut down. Are you hearing what I'm saying? And they praise God in spite of. Because they said, before I had a position, I had a savior. Are you hearing what I'm saying? And my salvation is not based on the position that I attained in the church. I'm still going to be right. Regardless to what I'm experiencing, what, 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 what was he experiencing? Let me help you. The Bible says he lost his possessions. Ah, uh, y'all don't want me to preach like this. He lost his possessions. Some of you can't handle that. When you start losing your personal possessions, let me tell you, Job Incorporated went bankrupt. He was unemployed. He did not have anything coming in. He not only lost, my God, his company, his, watch this here, his Fortune 500 company. He lost his family. All of his sons and daughters were dead. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. His friends was attacking him. His wife was acting crazy. And she said, go ahead on, Job, and give up. He said, you speak real foolish. He said, can we accept good from the Lord and not take adversity? But in all things, the Bible says, Job spoke not foolishly. Neither did he charge the Lord with anything. But this is what he said. Y'all don't want me to preach like this. This is what Job said. I will bless him anyhow. Come on. Where that church is? Come on. Where that church is? The ones who will bless God. Yes. Anyhow. Yes. Thank you, God. Huh? Ain't nobody saying nothing on this side. Where that church at that can bless it? Anyhow. Huh? I'm dealing with something, but I'm going to bless you. I'm going through something, but I'm going to bless you. I'm not looking at my situation. I'm looking at my salvation. I'm looking at the delivered power of God. I'm looking at the hand of God. I don't know when he's going to come, but one thing I made up my mind. All the appointed days of my life will I hold on until my change comes. Because I'm expecting something to turn around. And God is to what I'm dealing with right now. I'm expecting. Oh. Oh, Jesus. My God. We're losing our 
with expectation yes. because we're dealing with difficult and painful situations. Come on now. Come on now. You can't manipulate God. Come on. God is still in control. Yes. It's not based upon how much you give. Come on now. Some of us say we can give a whole bunch and that'll keep us blessed. More than what you give is based on how you live. Oh, I like that. I like yeah, we can't handle that kind of stuff in the church, but I'm going to preach anyhow. This is a question that was asked of Job. Watch this in this sermon that I'm bringing you today. Uh, can God trust you with trouble? The word can mean is able. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. And what the scripture is saying uh, here to us today, watch this. Is God able? Come on now. Yeah. My Watch God. This. Is God able yes. to have firm belief yes. and confidence Come on. in you? Come on. Do he know for a fact that he can rely on you? My God. That's good. That's good. Even when you're going through Sweet Holy trouble. Come on. Come on. Oh God. Many of us have stayed home because we're dealing with trouble. Many of us don't have interest in church because we're dealing with trouble. Many of us don't praise and worship God no more because the trouble that we're dealing with is bigger. Watch this here. It's bigger than the revelation we have of who our God is. We have this, this crazy belief, pastors. We have this crazy belief that if God ain't blessing me, Come on now. then something is wrong with me. Come on now. Oh. Speak well. If God ain't blessing you, that does not mean that something is wrong with you. Come 